everyone, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I am really excited to have you here with me today to show you the results of about a three month experiment and that experiment involved getting lash extensions. And it's so funny because in the comments section I invariably get people saying, why do you do so much stuff? Are you just obsessed with beauty? Well, I do, I do hate to remind you, but this is my job is to show you different beauty options. And I was curious about lash extensions and quite honestly, about three months ago, I was looking for a video to do and I thought, you know, I've always wanted lash extensions, so I'll give them a try. And there are some YouTubers who've used them for a long time and they look great in them. But I found out after three months of use, I applied them March 22nd and it's almost June 22nd, so it's been three months. I found out that lash extensions really aren't for me and this is how my lashes now look. I had them removed yesterday and my lashes definitely are skimpier and thinner than they were before I had the lash extensions applied. However, I am going to go back to my wonderful lash growth serum, which is Revita Lash. And within one month, you will see that my lashes will be long and thick again. And if you'd like to see a video showing those Revita Lash results, I would love to show that to you. I've linked the Revita Lash Lash Serum below, in addition to the brow serum that I have used to grow out my tails. And my eyebrows are really thick since using this, and my lashes, I can hardly wait to get this started again. I'm also going to link a less expensive lash serum. It's Amazon's number one choice. It's a product called Grand Lash, and I used it before and it worked for a certain amount of time and then it quit working. But if you haven't used it, maybe it would work for you and it's $36 versus over about $100 for this. Although I think this one lasts five or six months and it really does work. And before I get into sharing my opinions about the lash extensions, and I definitely have those for sure, I did want to show you the outfit that I'm wearing today. And I got this from Thread Up, which is a consignment store online. And I absolutely love it. I get a lot of my clothes from Thread Up. And I have a link below if you've never used ThreadUp before under the Refer a Friend program. On your first purchase, you will get 40% off using my link plus free shipping. And they have a very easy return policy if you get some items that you don't like, but I really just swear by ThreadUp. Okay, let's get into this. And as I mentioned before, almost exactly three months ago, I had the lash extensions applied. And let me show you, when I first came out of the lash salon three months ago, I really wasn't sure I liked them. In fact, quite honestly, just between you and me, I didn't like them. But here is a look at that experience. I feel like Bambi or like a Barbie doll with lots and lots of fur. <laughs> I don't know. She said sometimes people are a little freaked out at first. Maybe I'm a little freaked out, but I know I looked kind of ugly before because I remember thinking, boy, without mascara and stuff, you look very, very peaked. Okay, let me get into sharing my opinions about my lash extension experience. And again, I have taken them off. These are my own lashes now, and I'm going to start growing them back, that little month-long process of growing back my lashes. But basically, I got them because I'd seen various women wearing them, and I thought, oh gosh, they look so nice. They look so perfect all the time. Well, that wasn't my experience. And even more than that, they were very expensive. It cost me about $150 to have them applied initially. And then every two weeks you go in for what they call a fill. And my fills cost about $60. I was able to sometimes go three weeks before I needed a fill. And at first the lashes seemed to stay in there pretty well. But at the end there, they were falling out even the day after I would get a lash fill. Maybe they would look perfect on one eye and then the middle one would fall out and it would have a big open space in it. It just didn't look very good. There were times, and this was even reflected in videos, where the lash extensions looked pretty good. And beside me on one side or the other, I do have a look at when they looked pretty good, but I still think they looked basically fake and very artificial. And I was really never very happy with them, but that's when they looked their best. And then there were other times where one side would look pretty good. And here's an example of this in this picture, but the other side is just spiky and kind of weird. And then especially toward the end, when they started to get really difficult, there were times when one side looked pretty good and the other side almost looked non-existent. I was really never able to make them look consistently great by any means. Alan never really liked them at all. He said they looked fake and he was really right. In my case, I was never able to find a way to make them look like long, healthy lashes, to make them look more natural. They always had kind of that fake look. 
Now, all that being said, I did want to show you how they looked when I had them removed. And so I'm going to wind the clock back to yesterday about this time when I first got back home to the studio after having my lashes removed. And I will tell you, they didn't use oil to remove my lashes. And they always say, do not try that at home because you're likely to pull out a lot of your existing lashes when you're trying to remove the fake ones. So basically do go in and pay the small amount of money. In my case, it only costs $10. It was a great bargain to have them removed. 10 bucks plus a small tip a total of $15 and I had all the lashes removed but she said she wasn't using an oil she was actually using a solvent that removed the bonds of the adhesive that adhered the lash extensions to my lashes and so that was what she was doing it was a pretty relaxing process it only took about 10 minutes and this is where I was when I first got home yesterday after having the lash extensions removed okay here I am back from the lash extension place and I've had them removed and they look non-existent. It's pretty bad, but I also think that I'm not used to how real lashes look. Go ahead and use my metal lash comb there. Let me go ahead and put my eyeshadow on. And there is the Morphe Truth or Bear palette, which I've been loving. Don't really have any eyelashes, do I? Very interesting. Then I'll go ahead and I'll go in first with a little of this light color without the shimmer, just underneath the brow. Alan and I are going out to lunch. I'm so excited. We got in from the cruise last night at about 10 and our days and nights are all mixed up, but we both woke up about five. That's normal for me. That is not normal for Alan, but he really had all this energy. And so we went ahead and got three loads of laundry, actually four loads of laundry done. It's all hanging in the washroom, which is great. Now I'm going to go ahead and use a little of this color, which has a little bit of shimmer. I always like a little bit of shimmer on the eyelid. And this is the second time I've purchased this. This is one of my favorite palettes ever. I think it's wonderful. I love the Natasha Denona um, Glam Palette, but it has a little more shimmer to it. And this is a little milder, which I think as we get older, a little milder shimmer is better. Okay, now I'm going to go in and put a little bit of, of a crease color in there. And I, I've been using this color. I really like it. Just put it right there on the on the outside. We want to, you start where you want it to be the darkest. There it is. It's a nice little matte cre crease color. Kind of hurrying because I got my eyelashes removed at 11, which only took 10 minutes and it was only $10, so it's kind of a neat thing. <laughs> the only thing inexpensive about eyelash extensions is having them removed, I found out. They really are expensive. You end up paying about $60 plus a tip, so probably about $70 every two weeks for them and I didn't find them to be worth it as I shared earlier in the video. If, if they would always look great I would pay for that because I think it'd be worth it but they were very inconstant. Some weeks they'd be super dark and I'd look like Elvira and then some weeks a weird one would pop off and so I'd have a great set of lashes except for the middle or you know something weird. So anyway I'm just kind of making this go fast because Alan ran to the bank this morning, which it closes at 12. And uh, he's going to come back and we're going to go out to eat lunch because we have no food in the house. I'm going in with a crease color just underneath, underneath my lower lashes. I no longer use mascara under my lashes. I got that from, from Dominique Seishi or Soxy, Dominique Soxy, but now I feel like maybe I need to Put some lower lash mascara on because the uppers aren't going to be very good. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the same eyeliner that I've been using and loving for more than a year. This is the Pure On Point eyeliner in the color Down to Earth. Then I'll go in and tight line and basically see the white that you can see underneath my lashes. The tight lining is going to help my lashes look thicker. So I think that looks that looks better. Then I'm going to go in with my NYX Control Freak to make those unruly brows a little better. And again, I've been using the Revita Brow on my brows for a long time and it has really improved my brows. They used to be very thin and now they're actually very thick. Okay, now I'm ready to go ahead and mascara these lashes, these non-existent lashes. <laughs> And so then I'll go in and I'll do a little bit of curling here. 
And they say it always helps to raise your elbow because that curls them back a little bit. And I need all the help I can get. Do the other one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, eight, nine, twenty. Okay, those look a little better, I think. Now, my favorite mascara of all time is the Stila Huge Extreme Lash, but this is a very old tube, so I also have another Stila mascara that I can use over this because I'm sure these won't look very great. Do a little wiggle with those to try to get some, some thickness going here. Ooh, this is really an old tube of mascara. It's not really looking all that great but I have about a zillion different kinds of mascara in there. I think I'll put some below. Yeah, they're definitely skimpy now. Definitely skimpy. Okay, now that is only the first go round though. Gotta really try to get the tops. Remember to get the tops when you've got thin lashes because that does kind of thicken them up a little bit. Boy, they're definitely shorter and thinner than they used to be. I'll go down on the bottom here. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the second coat of the Stila Huge Extreme Lash, but then I'm going to come in with the Stila Magnum Mascara. Here is that, because that's a newer tube. And I think I need all the help that I can get. I'm not really a fan of big clumpy lashes, however, to get some lashes after having the extensions taken off, I think clumpy it is. I'd rather have clumpy than none. They're looking, they're looking better. Better than I thought they would. I think even after a few weeks of the Revita Lash, Lash Serum, which I'll show you in a few minutes, I think it'll look a lot better. You know, those, those really don't look bad. But I'm going to go in with the Stila XXX Magnum. Is it called Magnum? Stila Magnum. Magnum Mascara. Let's see if I can get a little more look. And look at that wonderful head. And the other Stila has the same kind of head. This one's even bigger. The Magnum is even bigger. Okay, that is really not as bad as I thought it would be. They're not wonderful and glorious, but they're not too bad considering that I thought I would have nothing. So that's pretty good. Now, I have been loving this Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink Lip Stick, or it's Lip Stain or something, but it's in the color 20 Koi, and I've used this for a long time, and so it's not as strong as it used to be, but it is long-wearing. Go ahead and do this. You can kind of use the doe foot as a little bit of a liner there. I've been kind of liking this color. Again, it's 20 Koi because I'm a little bored of all the of all the nudes. Just a little bit. I like them, but I also like a little bit in the spring or summer to have a little bit of a bright color. And I'm using this BK Luxury Lip Liner in the color Pink Lady, which I love this color. It's good for any of your pink lipsticks. And normally I wear this and I put some gloss on top of it. And oh, I'm gonna do one more thing. I love this, this peach, L'Oreal peach concealer stick because I've got black marks in there and that does help. It really does. Oh, let me, let me go get some gloss. Okay, this is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the color Crystal and it looks like a strange color to put over this because I just told you I liked bright and this kind of nulls it down a little bit, but I think it's pretty. I just do it kind of in the middle here. Just gives you a little plump to your lips. Makes them look a little bigger, a little plumper. I really do like that. And I am so surprised that I'm not hating these eyelashes because they have definitely gotten thinner and skimpier. But with several coats of good mascara, you can make them look pretty good. And again, in the comment section, if you'd like to see my lash growth progress, with the Revita Lash, just let me know. And also, if you have had lash extensions, if you have them and love them, tell me any tips you have to make them work, 
But if you have them and, and didn't like them and got rid of them, let me know that too. I think it would really help all of us learn a little more about the lash extension process. And I learned a lot what I like and don't like about it. One of the main things I did like about it, I have to admit, is that when you go in to get a lash fill, you know, the initial set takes more than an hour and then the fills take between 30 minutes and an hour. And the thing I really liked best about it is that when you lie down, th th there's a heated table, they put a blanket over you if you want it, and you're lying there and half the time you go to sleep. And so it is super relaxing. I really enjoyed that. But by the same token, as much as I enjoyed that period, I also hated it because I had to find a hidden hour here or there to go in and get it done. And that was a hassle. So anyway, let me know in the comment section if you love lash extensions, if you hate them, what your experience with the lash extensions has been. And if you have any tips to share, that would be just great. Well, thank you for coming along with me on this lash extension journey. And if you have any ideas on videos you would like to see, please share that as well in the comment section. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video.